Let's do some work. Today's the day for a bit of repair work. So I'll show you what I can and we'll see what happens. Before I do anything, I just need to do a little bit of cleaning up with the orbital sander. Right, now the fun really begins. I've got to make up some epoxy resin, which is what I'm going to be using to do my repair. So, I've got my pot. I've got my resin. I've got some hardener. And I've got some 406 colloidal silica, which will help us make a paste. And all that does is it stops it, stops the epoxy resin from just running off and not going where you want it to go. So I'll do my best to show you how I do this. I've never done it before. I've done my research. I think I know what I'm doing. But if not, and you think I've done it wrong, let me know in the comments and I'll um, try and fix it. Right, bear with me and we'll get started. Here we go. So. This is the pot I'll be mixing in. Uh, I'm going to mix it with just a wooden lollipop stick. It's a ratio of five to one, so it's a, for every five parts of resin, it's one part of hardener. So what I'm going to do is, I don't have the pumps that you can buy. They would cost me another 15 pounds and I just can't be able to pay that. So I'm just going to try and fluke it. And what I'm going to do is uh, fill up this little jam jar um, to measure out what I'm doing. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Just bear with me while I um, get myself sorted. Alright, here we go. So, go one, two, three. That's the resin that I've just put in, five parts of resin. And now I'm opening the hardener. So we just need one part of hardener. There's fumes coming out of the pot, so I'm sure this can't be good for you. Wear a mask, I'm not wearing one. Right, so that's just one part of hardener. Still fumes coming out of the pot. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Probably wear gloves for this as well. And now all I'm going to do is mix it up. Don't know how long I've got to mix it for. I'm just going to keep mixing it for a while. And then when I finish mixing this, what I'll do is I'll put one part of the silica in. And in theory, I should get a nice peanut butter paste, as they say. We'll see what happens, I don't know. To me, I think I've done way too much here, it looks like it. Poor, it smells as well. Right, let's put the silica in. Oh, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> I don't have a pot. I don't have a scoop for this either, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chuck some in there. Oh, 
This is probably not the best way to do this. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's enough. Put a bit more in. And just sort of fold it in. <coughs> Get, making sure you get it off the bottoms as well. So, I originally, when I went to buy this, I picked up the West Systems one um, because I assumed that was probably the best one to use. Um, but I was told that this other one I've bought, uh, I'm not sure what the brand name is on it, is made by the same people. So, it's just as good apparently. So I can see a lot of, I'm not sure you can see that, there's lots of little lumps in there. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to add more silica and mix it in. And what we're looking for is a, like I say, a peanut butter sort of texture. We're getting there quite there yet. Still a bit runny, still a bit sloppy and horrible. Again, I don't know if this is right or not, but it's going to do. I think we can have a bit more of that in there. Making an absolute mess of things, as I usually do. Looks like we're getting there now. So you just fold it in and then give it a good mix. Make sure everything's off the bottom. Really mix it in. So we're pretty much there. I might add a little bit more, I think. Just a small amount. Just want it to be that bit more consistent. What I want it to do is, I just want it to be able to hold its own. Um, so that's the point of this stuff. I think this is pretty much it, to be honest. That's it. So, I think that's right. As you can see, it's very... can hold its own now, that's what I wanted. So I am just going to go and apply this now. Right.
There we have it, that's what I've done so far. Um, I've put this, it's called pill ply. Uh, you put it over, uh, it just keeps it smooth I think. Um, stops any dust getting in there and any imperfections. So, in my next video, I may be glassing over this just to be safe. So I'll show you the result of it then. Thank you for watching. Um, Please do say if you've noticed anything I've done wrong because um, I don't want my boat to sink so it would be helpful. <laughs> All right.